Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're out here at the hangar. It's a Friday, and I'm doing this on Friday, so maybe it's not quite so noisy in the background. But uh, uh, I was talking to Chuck. He's one of our structural guys on K, and said, "Hey, would you mind explaining kind of what our next steps are going to be when, when here in the very near future, when we get some parts in with Patrick?" So he's going to explain that to you. Um, that's about it. After we explain that to you, maybe we'll talk about the uh, gun system. Uh, I'm not sure what YouTube's going to let us do on that. It's, the guns are fake, the rounds are fake, the boxes are scratch built, but uh, there's nothing live in the, in the gun bay. So uh, I know I saw something where the, anything about guns wasn't going to be. saw something today about they're going to restrict anything about guns and I'm not sure what that involves or what it's about so this may get struck out but uh, anyway uh, that's where we're at he's like I said Chuck's going to explain to us what's going on uh, what we're trying to do next uh, so enjoy it and I'll get back here with you um, at the end of it Okay, Chuck's going to explain to us what's going on and what we're attempting to do here pretty soon. I keep saying we, it's usually him and two other guys. I'm usually not part of this, but I just record. Um, so here's Chuck. Uh, he'll explain what we're, our immediate, ones to do, what we're wanting to do immediately and go from there. And so I'm going to turn it over to Chuck and let him explain what's going on next. Okay. Uh, what we're doing right now, uh, the structures mechanic is building some sub-assemblies that have to go in the back of the cell. So we're trying to get to the point to where we can actually start hanging part of the landing gear when he gets finished. When we do that, then we can start taking measurements to where he can start building the side sub-assemblies for the landing gear trains. So all of that is going to have to be built each side by itself because we don't have anything to measure by. So the gear is going to be the driver of, of that. Once we get it in, uh, then we can hang it and, and it will determine where the, the actual trunnion fittings go on each side of the land. Cool. Sounds easy. Sounds easy. <laughs> May not be. A little time consuming. Okay. And while we got you standing by the gun bay, explain the ammo boxes to us. The Just, ammo boxes. Yeah, let me get well, close up here and uh, then I'll bring the camera to you. Blocking that one, that's okay. So, I'm going to come out and go ahead and explain that real quick. Alrighty, well, uh, that was a little project that I did a few years ago uh, because the gun bay doors were closed and we had the replica of 50 caliber machine guns in the airplane so I decided well you know I can at least maybe try to do one side so the actual ammunition boxes don't exist anymore so I basically found a bunch of pictures and seen how they were built and I got up there did a bunch of measurements because the trays for the gun boxes are still there so at least I had that and so I built the boxes, there's four of them up there. Uh, I built those off of pictures. It took me about three and a half months to complete everything. I found the feed chutes on eBay and then uh, the dummy 50 caliber rounds we get out of New York. So it was about a three and a half month job and pretty proud of it. I get a lot of compliments on it. So that's kind of my personal touch to the airplane. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's that. He explained it quite well. Um, we are just waiting for Patrick, like I said, in the last episode to, to finish up and get, get to us with his stuff so we can move on and make forward progress on the aircraft itself. So there's things, like I said last time, there's things progressing, there, but they're in the background, and, uh, you know, we just there's no need to photograph any or video any of that. Um, when he gets his stuff in, uh, we'll crank up and start really really getting some videos out with what's going on and you all can see what it takes to make a warbird go back together again so she can fly so with that you all have a good week um, hopefully next week we'll have something to go with and until then we'll see you next time